Creating quality vector artwork from low resolution images has just become a whole lot easier thanks to a new vectorization wizard in Synab 8. On screen I have a low quality bitmap image that has been supplied to me by the customer. As with so many cases the artwork is of low resolution and has most likely come from a website or a scan letterhead. Double clicking on the bitmap will reveal the bitmap editing tools in the smart bar at the top of the screen. The first task of vectorizing any full color image is posterization. This is the process of identifying how many separate colors make up the design. The tab to activate Synab's posterization toolset is here, in the same position as previous versions. However, when I click it now, I am asked if I would like to run the prepare to vectorize wizard. So I'm going to click yes here and move on. Now there are three stages to this wizard. The first is a dramatic resampling process using the newly added supersize function. Synlab will suggest an image size which can be changed if needed, but in most cases this setting can be left unchanged. Under this I have the option to run Fluid Mask, another of the new tools in Synlab designed to remove unwanted backgrounds from bitmap images. Now with this example it's not needed, so I'm going to click no and move on. The next interface is where the image resampling takes place. The default settings here have made a fantastic improvement already and if needed you can alter any of these properties on the left here. Depending on your file it may give you an even better result. I'm pretty happy with what I have here so I'm going to click OK. Now once the image has been resampled it's placed in the new posterization interface. This new workflow makes it much easier to identify specific colors within my design and adjust the tolerances of each color. The first color within the image is black. Now the trick here is to push the color tolerance up so that all objects of the selected color are filled. If the tolerance is forced too high then other objects within the image will also get filled with that black color. So we must find a tolerance where only the black objects are highlighted but they're highlighted to a degree that picks up all the detail that we need for vectorization. Now to select the next color I simply click on a region of the original image and this will identify the blue color in the design. I'm going to finish off here by selecting the red within the image and then adjusting the tolerance to suit that color also. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I can zoom out now and have a look at the whole image and make sure it all looks good. Okay, click on OK will return the image to Synab and it's now ready to be vectorized. A quick view at the tray setup tells me that things look pretty good to go here so I can now click the Vectorize tab. And that's it, the results here really speak for themselves. Of course there are still a few minor points to tidy up, but overall I have ended up with an exceptional result, especially when you consider the quality of the original artwork. The new Prepare to Vector Wizard really speeds up the process of getting artwork ready for production, and this job can now be sent to my cutter.